It is a beautiful Monday morning, the 4th of June 2018. Welcome back from the matters, the celebrations that took place from Namugongo. I am Raithina Seje and we are looking at the news making headlines across the country. Let's go to Nebi district where the interim party electoral commission has announced that it will today carry out primary elections for the party flag bearers for the Nebi municipality elections which are slated for next month. The NRM postponed its primary elections last month due to what the party officials said was as a result of administrative issues. The program for the NRM party elections also clashes with the nomination of other candidates by the National Electoral Commission, which is, scheduled, which is also scheduled to start today. Meliki Kakura, the Nebi district NRM registrar, told New Vision yesterday that they were set for their primaries. Kakura, however, did not explain how the party would be able to deal with complaints that were likely to arise among the candidates after the primaries, given that they were taking place on the same day of nominations by the EC. Nebi is among the six newly created municipalities in the country that became operation in July 2016 without technical and political positions. It has three divisions, Abindu, Thatha and Centro with a population of 35,029 and 35 polling stations. Let's go to Masaka District where a businessman and a farmer, Audrey Kravogo, has commended the Masaka Best Hotel Brevard proprietor, Hajat Sara Nabukalu Chiyimba, for inspiring entrepreneurs and widows. This was during a two-day training in personal finance management organized by the Uganda Registration Services Bureau and gaining scale youth and women entrepreneurship at the Royal Gardens Hotel in Masaka Town on Wednesday. The training attracted close to 3,000 participants from Masaka District, including small-scale business groups. Ravogo said party politics should be set aside to pave way for the rollout of the pro-development programs to transform people. As we continue looking at the news making headlines across the country, let us look at what is making headlines in today's copy of the New Vision. The headlining story today is Higher Learning Institute's first new setup fees. Also, we have Museveni to save a church house and also councillors' fight in budget session. The front picture today is. Um, it says Museveni best meet at Namugongo. We see a handshake here. Well, yesterday were the Mother's Day celebrations and so many VIPs attended the celebrations and the president was the chief guest. Uh, moving on to stories making headlines in the v in the into the scope of the new vision, Museveni to say to Church House dead. Yeah, there's a story you can grab on page three. Also, police department in a 24 billion shilling fuel scam. Officers probed. Uh, we have gorilla population increases. That is good news. And also, judiciary sees Operation Wealth Creation Livestock Boost. Moving on, on what is making headlines today, in your copy of the New Vision, we have power distributor Umeme lights up Palisa Town. That is a story you should read when you get your copy of the new vision. Yes, yeah, still in the new vision, we have our desserts. Yeah. More in the new vision, yes. Every Monday, we have the infrastructure pullout where we look at what is happening in the infrastructure sector. And the headlining story today is why Uganda needs decent stopovers. We have the details in the infrastructure pullout still here. We have gaming board. No. Still in the infrastructure pullout we have. Uh, recent stopovers. Yeah, that's the story you should read. And also power lines, uh, 763 shillings loan approved. And UETCL, six support from local leaders. Those are some of the stories you can grab when you buy your copy of the New Vision and they are specifically in the infrastructure pullout. Now also every month we have the health and beauty pullout. We have breaking fast and balancing your meals. Yeah, our most, the Muslim community are still uh, fasting and have health and beauty is actually giving you how best you can break your fast, which kind of foods 
you should eat and how best uh, you could utilize your dietary schedule. We are still here. We have breast cancer. How Okello took her power back. Early diagnosis will save you. Those are some of the stories you can grab from the health and the beauty pull out. Um, moving on to the sports docket, we have 170 million shilling up in smoke. Tragedy there. Uh, those who survived, I see Frank Sirogo. He's a former. He's a journalist. And then Yusuf. Uh, Yusuf of Kenya. These are some of the survivors from the story that you are about to read uh, from the sports docket in the New Vision. We have cap fever on and then Morocco's bid intact. There are so many stories from the sports docket and I know you will uh, get the details when you buy your copy of the New Vision which is only 2,000 shillings. And remember, we are proudly the leading daily. Let's continue with stories making headlines across the country and we go to Wujili district. Members of the opposition have failed to agree in fielding a single candidate to contest for the Wujili municipality parliamentary seat. Both the Forum for Democratic Change candidate Eunice Namat Namatende and Gemma President Asman Basalira want the seat. Waswabirgwa, the FDC chairperson, while meeting supporters at Savannah Hotel in Bujiri on Friday, had earlier proposed that the party hires local council officials from the 19 villages within Bujiri to move from house to house in order to establish who of both candidates enjoyed overwhelming support. An idea Basali rejected, claiming it was a waste of time. Gemma Secretary General Mohamed Katerega had earlier written to Namatinde asking her to step down to allow Basara contest as a single position candidate. However, Namatinde insisted that she had more support, having contested the rise of all the women's parliamentary seat. She also argued that Bujiri was, uh, was an FDC stronghold. The Bujiri FDC chairperson Bumali Lumba said Namatende had previously been gaining more votes compared to Basalira. Some members of the opposition have expressed fears that the decision of both candidates to contest for the same seat is likely to weaken the opposition and allow ruling NRM party candidate to win the rest. Finally, from Kabalori District, it was a sober mood at Virika Cathedral in Fort Porto, Kabalori District, as mourners gathered at Rukia Mass for the late Teresa Nabayovo, Veridiana Akiki, the mother of the Attorney General William Birhanga, on Friday. The Bishop of Fort Porto Diocese, Dr. Robert Muhira, and said Veridiana had contributed a lot towards the development of several church projects in Toru. Mohira said people would also remember Veridiana for the key development projects and sacrifices she made towards the growth of the region. She said Veridiana had also made a significant contribution towards the construction of St. Charles Ranga Catholic Parish in Fort Porto Town, Cavalry District. Biarhanga said Veridiana died at the age of 83 on Thursday at Fort Porto Regional Referral Hospital. He said before she passed on, she had been taken to India for kidney treatment and she had been confined to a wheelchair because she had difficulty walking after the treatment. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch my news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.ug forward slash video. I am Rathina Sejek.